Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. All right, let's see what else we can jump into. Have we ever heard of a band called Love Bites and they're out of Japan? No, I know Love Bites by Def Leppard, but I do not know a band called Love Bites. And then the second uh, band that sings Love Bites, the song Love Bites? Uh, Jay Giles band? Or no, that's Love Stinks. Uh, What's the other band? I'll let you know on the next one. (laughs) Is this Love Bites by Love Bites? It's like the Beastie Boys by Beastie Boys. No, so Love Bites is also a Judas Priest song. Oh, you're right. This is the second episode with Darren Paltrowitz. Darren runs his own podcast called Paltrowcast with Darren Paltrowitz. He's aired on over 90 television and digital channels now, and he has literally interviewed and continues to interview the who's who of rock and roll and overall entertainment. He's a pretty awesome guy, and I appreciate him as being a really good friend at this point. So we'll jump this together. We'll see what he thinks about Love Bites. He has not heard of Love Bites. I do love how everybody goes immediately to Def Leppard, which I did as well. And it's not who they name their band after. So I think that's kind of a fun little niche fact, right? Also want to throw a shout out, a real true thank you, to the people here at Sakura. And the people at Sakura sent me these wonderful gift box of treats. So this is the first one here, and it has all these nice little items inside. If you guys can see, check it out. And I got some nice stuff that that looks like Utamaro, but I don't think it is. I think it's a different artist, but it looks a bit like that. And so I really do appreciate it. If that wasn't cool enough, they sent me another box filled with a bunch of stuff. It says Moon Festival. You guys will have to clue me in on what the Moon Festival is. I'm actually unsure, so I like to learn new things. So clue me in, but it has Kit Kats in here and all these wonderful chips. So thank you people at Sakura. I do appreciate it. I love trying all these snacks from Japan. I think it's awesome. So thanks a lot. Let's jump into this, guys. Let's see what Darren has to say about Love Bites. All right, we're going to jump in this together. This is Love Bites. I selected a track for you called Judgment Day. Now, when they released the music video for Judgment Day, I thought it was super, super awesome. But I've selected this live version of it. I I like live music. But also, this is their most recent release as a band. So I figure let's give them a little bit of support and push their newest video. But uh, you can let me know what you think of Love Bites. Bring it.
love the lights at the end of that. What do you sure. think? Uh, do you want factual or do you want nice? <laughs> you can be pretty brutal. Um, how about nice and then go into factual? Nice? Uh, that's a fully developed group. It's refreshing. It's unique. It's energetic. It's exciting. Uh, excellent production. Those kinds of things. I, I'm always glad to see spectacles that I wasn't aware of that are popular that make me go, oh, there is stuff happening. Anytime somebody says rock is dead and you go like, well, they played to 8,000 people. I don't think rock is dead. It's just you're not looking for new music. So that's that's the complimentary. Okay, cool. We're done. Next. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm kidding. The right, negative tell me, stuff tell is, me the mean stuff. Bring it on. It's not mean. It's just they're playing the tracks. What, and what you're hearing is not what, in other words, the recording is either a studio re-record or there's touch-ups happening. Because I was watching the bass player, who's technically excellent. She's doing Billy, Billy Sheehan type finger tapping kind of stuff on the bass, which is really great. But her hands are not matching what I was hearing. And I'm saying that as a bass player. And then the lead riff that's like the string keyboard thing. Uh, where's the keyboard player? Did, did so, you see keyboard player? So the guitar player uh, plays a lot of the piano tracks. She's a brilliant pianist. L live, she was not playing the piano or the keyboard. So I, I have a problem. These are things that I call musical crimes. Like when I saw Smashing Pumpkins last week, and they had a female backing singer who had no guitar, percussion, or keyboard in her hands. And she's just standing there with a wireless mic singing Billy Corgan's high notes. To me, musical crime. When you see the band live in concert, and live has a, a guy who just plays percussion, there's no percussion on the live albums I'm aware of. That's a musical crime right there. You see okay, the what about Ozzy? He's getting on a bit. He's been using backup guys forever. Uh, guys on the side of the stage as well. Robert Mason was doing uh, side stage vocals. He's always had a side stage keyboard player. Musical crimes, I tell you. Tough guy. All right, so do we stay in Japan or do we move out of the country and we go elsewhere? Oh, full disclosure, though, I will gladly listen to more songs by Love Fights. It's just if you're telling us it's live, show us the live audio. I mean, that's not live audio. Okay. Prove me wrong. T tell me where the keyboard player was. But anyway, yes, uh, Japan's always fine by me. Bring it on. More Japan. All right. Have we heard of a band called Band Made? I think they just played New York in September, but I didn't get to see them or or go last year or something. Bring them on. Okay, let's do it. Let's jump into that one. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I now have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and even a Patreon. The Patreon you can join for as little as one buck. The handle on all of them, it's of course, Joel Rody. I'll see you guys on the next one.